It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy. This show is 5.45 Live. Joe, coming up tonight, uh, we'll talk about the tragedy in Vernon uh, that has uh, struck the community again. We'll also talk about uh, town meeting reps. The town is on a mission to get more. And live basketball coming up from BUHS. Uh, all that and more coming up here on 5.45 Live. And welcome back to 545 Live. Joe, you were um, out over the weekend. Uh, not not a great day to be a news reporter for us, but you were out with the camera, so. Well, I heard the call on the scanner last night around 5 o'clock about the uh, accident with the train in Vernon, and I went down to see what was going on. And uh, uh, according to uh, news reports, uh, a multitude of them today, uh, a 15-year-old Eric Pratt of Vernon was killed when he was struck by a train uh, just off Route 142 in Vernon and um, about five, uh, shortly after 5 p.m. last night. Uh, the train was stationary for over three hours there while police and uh, uh, the uh, uh, crews tried to re recreate the accident scene so they could uh, de try and determine what happened. And um, it's it just a terrible tragedy for sure. All right, well, moving on, town meeting is uh, coming up. And uh, Annette Cappy uh, from uh, the Brattleboro Town Offices is hoping to get more town meeting reps. Uh, earlier today, uh, she, along with uh, a panel of uh, reps from the previous year, and Select Board Member Ken Schneck uh, held a panel downstairs in the Hannah Cosman room of this year, 230 Main Street Municipal Center, to talk about, among other things, how easy it is to become a town meeting rep and why you should join. Here's Ken talking a little bit more about what he calls a responsibility to the community. This unique structure that everyone has described, it also carries with it a very unique responsibility, and that's the responsibility to participate. And so uh, we, we wanted to create an opportunity for more people to learn about this in the hopes that first maybe there's some people that think this is an overwhelming responsibility, that they can't participate in the process because it's too much. Um, and we wanted to make an attempt to dispel that because it's, it's simply not true. All right, Joe, what do we got next? Well, next we uh, have, uh, it looks like, uh, what was it, um, Saturday night at about 8 o'clock, another call I heard on the scanner, Canal Street neighbors got robbed again, uh, this time by a guy with uh, uh, a multitude of tattoos. Uh, that was one of the distinguishing marks they used to uh, try and identify him, but uh, I, uh, as of that yeah, as of that evening, they had not apprehended him, and uh, I believe they're still on the lookout for him. So. Uh, um, once again, the neighbors on Canal Street was robbed, and I'm um, not sure exactly, uh, you know, uh, how, the, how the investigation's going, but uh, they certainly were all over it, so. Uh, um, yeah. All right. Lots well that, of the cra crazy things going on in town. Boy, what a, what a weekend for news. <clears throat> yeah. All right, well, uh, among many of the uh, controversial, hotly contested issues in this town is the skate park. So controversial, in fact, that it's uh, headed to mediation. There's more on that. Joe, you've been uh, close to this um, story in, in many ways. What's, what's the deal here? Well, that's another tough one. Uh, according to today's Brattleboro Reformer, skate park mediation hits a speed bump. And uh, as it's presented in the Reformer, uh, they said that uh, due to the fact that both sides were unable to come to agreement as to who would attend the uh, mediation hearing, uh, that it had been canceled by Cindy Cook, the mediator. And uh, I think, it, uh, you know, again, I may be reflecting my own opinion here, but um, I, if I understood it right, Mr. Adams, who was the appellant, uh, did, did not choose to uh, have the meeting take place with Barb Sondag present. And uh, <clears throat> Barb Sondag is the town manager. Uh, the applicant for this project is the town of Brattleboro. And so it, 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 to me, it seems irrational to, uh, you know, uh, conduct that hearing without Barb present, and uh, but apparently uh, uh, she deemed that both parties needed to be comfortable in order to proceed with mediation, and her conclusion was that um, as Mr. Adams did not wish to have Ms. Sondag present, uh, that that indicated they were not comfortable, and so the mediation was abruptly canceled. So uh, it's my understanding it's going to go back to the court now, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll await uh, Judge Durkin's decision as to how to proceed further. Absolutely. All right. Well, a few more things uh, that we'll uh, jump into. Uh, we'll hit the calendar next. Let's see if we can get that animation coming up. Curling extraordinaire. That's me. Of course, that is a real dart. There's no graphics or CG involved there. Uh, coming up tonight, 6:15. Uh, uh, BUHS 
uh, Brattleboro Union High School, Colonel Boys are uh, gearing up. We're going to take you, viewers, live to the game on Channel 8 at 6.30 p.m. Um, we've actually got the, the feed, a JV game that's going on there now. Varsity will kick off again, 6.30 um, p.m. Is that a live feed? That is live. Doing and it. so they're, we're covering the game live, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Good yeah. deal. Yep, students from BUHS TV uh, under the that's tutelage great. of Gary Blomgren up there are going to be getting you a three-camera live broadcast shoot coming up from there as well. Again, we're checking out the live feed. All right, Joe, a few more things before we wrap up, including my new favorite uh, gizmo here, and that's our traffic report. <clears throat> Get to take a look at uh, what's going on. Well, I can, I'll can. i give you my two cents worth of traffic report from coming here. Southbound Interstate 91 at this moment is solid, solid parking lot. Uh, backed up past Pepsi. That's uh, what that, uh, past red, Pepsi. That's what that red line is. amazing how accurate that thing it is right really there. Is. It sure is. Of course, again, our, our traffic report powered by Inrix and Beat the Traffic. Uh, so, yeah, Southbound Actually, in, in 91. It's almost dead on, too, as to where that thing stops uh, on the map there, just below the Western Avenue crossing. Yep. A uh, little bit between uh, Main Street and High Street. Also, uh, looks like it's uh, in the red there and heavy traffic coming uh, south down Putney Road. But you're good going north on Putney Road. You're good going north on 91. 545 live traffic report. There we go. Uh, all right. Uh, again, um, tune us in uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday when we get you, among other things, this uh, high powered, high tech traffic report. All right, Joe, um, that I believe is just about all we have left. But before we. Uh, Turn it uh, back to, to our regular Channel 8 programming. I just want to take a second to do our BCTV schedule quick glance. Let's see if that's the animation I've got queued up here. Indeed. TV's flying from the sky. The quick glance, of course, my daily opportunity to shamelessly plug what's coming up on BCTV on both our Comcast cable channels 8 and 10. I'm going to try and do it in about 30 seconds here. For that, I'm going to head to Brattleboro. TV.org, where schedules are updated to the minute, along with live streaming and video on demand for all local programming, and we'll take a look at what's coming up. Of course, uh, we mentioned the basketball game coming up live, 6.30 p.m. I might have said Channel 8, so let's just clarify here. I want to want to say that it's um, on Channel 10, two clicks up the dial. Why is that? It's because it's our government and education sister channel, 6.30 p.m., and that is live, live three-camera shoot, 9 p.m. Uh, we'll get you the governor, uh, his state of the state address. Again, that's at 9 p.m. on Channel 10. And uh, for our um, channel that you're watching right now, Channel 8, we've got a 7 p.m. showing of the leftist love potion with the endearingly indignant, as we like to peg it, Amy Goodman, Democracy Now! that shows at 7 p.m. Um, and uh, plenty more. Again, you can find those schedules. And if we do make last minute changes, the website's really the place to look. Of course, live streaming and then uh, video on demand back archives for all of this local programming. That's all at brattlebrotv.org. All right, Joe, that's about uh, all I got. So we better just do what we uh, always do. Nasty weather coming. All right. Be advised. For BCTV and 545 Live, I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy, and we're saying night, everybody.